Hi, I'm Natalie Haynes and I'm a registered psychotherapist. And today what I want to talk about is something that drives me a little nuts. It's anger. And my beef with anger is that there's a lot of messages out there in the world that tell us our anger is wrong that we're not supposed to be angry, that we need to let go of anger, that we need to be peaceful all the time so we can be happy. And I don't think that's true. I believe that our anger is an emotion that we have because we're human. It's as necessary as being sad, it's as necessary as being disgusted, it's as necessary as feeling joy and love. So in that sense, our anger has something to tell us about ourself. It, usually when we feel angry, it's because we've been wronged in some way or someone's taken advantage of us or something has happened that has created this feeling in us and it doesn't always feel good, but it's created a feeling in us that tells us there's some truth about what's going on that we need to know about. So in that sense, I believe our anger has so much to teach us. To say to somebody, I'm angry at you is a really hard thing to say because a lot of us feel like they're either going to think negatively, you know, the other person might think negatively of us or, you know, we won't be liked anymore. On the flip side, some people's anger is so big that, no, you know, people are walking on eggshells around them. But to be able to look at somebody and say, I'm angry at you because of this, it allows for your relationship, for, for clarity within that relationship, whatever it may be. Maybe it's a marriage, maybe it's a friendship, maybe it's um, you know, parent and child, a family member. But to be able to say, I'm angry when you do this, allows the other person to go, oh, I understand, this is what's okay for you and this is what's not okay for you. Anger has a lovely place in helping us understand what we need and what kind of support we need from the environment. So the question is, how do you do your anger? Do you hold everything inside and never let anyone know how you really feel? Or how you might feel about a situation? Or is your anger really big that you're leaving carnage in your wake? Whichever way it is, that's the thing to get curious about. Anger in itself isn't a bad emotion. It, it keeps us safe and it tells us what's, good for, what, what's okay for us and what's not okay for us. So, be curious about your anger. Allow it to teach you what you might need. And if it's too big or too small, it might be worth looking at. If you're curious about your anger and how you do it, then give me a call or send me an email and we can work together so that you can find out what your anger is trying to teach you about you.